The fire took three days to put out. There was 100 firefighters involved, 30 fire engines. We have been involved from the very beginning. We actually started on site, virtually on the third or fourth day after the fire was put out, started stabilising the building, erecting scaffolding all around. Uh, all the companies involved have been fantastic in trying to protect the building, trying to protect the space and make it safe for eventually myself, uh, Museum of London, a uh, salvage team to go in and rescue the final artefacts in December. And so we managed through three separate interventions to get out at least uh, 900 of the 950 artefacts that we had on show there. I have to say not all of them are in great shape, but I think we've been fantastically lucky and we're really happy to say that all the things that people will remember from the collection out on show and the things that people enjoyed to look, looking at, a lot of that is intact, a lot of that is in quite good condition and a lot of that has survived and will be on show again. So um, the Town Hall we think is a real opportunity to bring back a civic heart into Woolworth. Uh, we want to bring the Cuming Museum back to have a much better space. We're looking for an enhanced library service. We also want to have space for events. Uh, the old chamber in the town hall wasn't big enough for, uh, for Southwark Council to fit in, um, but we want to have a new event space that can be used not just for council meetings, but for community events as well, a flexible meeting space. Although we were hugely upset about the fire, we actually see this as a fantastic opportunity to bring a wonderful building back into new use. It's been a really good and successful transition to a new future, if you like. The one-stop shop seems to be uh, up and running really successfully and the museum service is obviously moving to new premises, very small pop-up premises in Chomley Gardens and Burgess Park. So we're really happy and looking forward to the future about that. The library building was also damaged in the fire, although the fire didn't come through, it got flooded with the water that was used to extinguish the fire. Uh, it's in a really bad condition at the moment, damp and damp spores, so we're not able to bring it back into use right away. Uh, what we're doing is we're going to have a temporary library uh, on top of the artworks uh, up by Elephant Road, and, uh, and we're going to look at the future of this building alongside the Town Hall um, when we have our architectural competition over the next few months. So um, we might need this building as well to provide all the services we want, or we might find some other exciting uses for this building too. We're not planning to sell this building. Businesses on East Street and Woolworth Road have expressed their concerns that with the new shopping centre uh, and shops on at the Elephant Castle, how will they fare as these changes happen? And we think it's absolutely essential that we are bringing a draw to the Woolworth Road and making sure that people are coming out of the town centre and down to the shops on East Street and the Woolworth Road. So having uh, this new civic heart here is one of those things that's going to help draw people down. So uh, we do see this building and the development we're going to do here as really being something that's going to help those businesses.